So how much water should I be using? Um, you know, you're never really going to overwater wheatgrass as long as there's some drainage holes. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the trays that you know you guys have at Got Sprouts are perfect because they do have holes for drainage. Right. You know, a lot of people want to make sure they catch the water right. so it doesn't drip on their floor, yeah. which I can completely so that's understand. Be a little bit different, obviously. Um, that way. Right. But there, there's ways around that too. You know, you can get two trays mm -hmm. and then put a little bath towel in one and put your one with holes on top of that. So this way mm -hmm. it'll catch the water. But you want to make sure that that water can drain out. Right. Because you don't you, want it sitting in the water. Right? You don't want it sitting in the water. The problem is you can underwater, but you really can't overwater wheatgrass mm -hmm. as long as the water can drain. But if you're not watering it enough, you're going to see it right away. Your yeah. grass is going to start to wilt. It's not going to grow as well. Um, with sunflower greens, you have to be a little more careful. Mm -hmm. uh, water is very particular with sunflower because you can overwater, actually, sunflower. They are a little temperamental. Yes, <laughs> they definitely are.